All right, let's do this. We're going up against the... Have ever been up against? I think it was the Browns. The Browns. And they don't have a fullback. So when we beat them. Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Hoosier State and Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store, as it'll be the Cleveland Browns taking on the Indianapolis Colts. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest, you'll take the week off, get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. Kicking it off, huh? For a berth in the AFC Championship game, off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. Orchestrating the offense will be a man who, of course, won a national title back in his days at Clemson, Deshaun Watson. Any more than did his part, the wild card win with three touchdown passes. Now, he's going to get a bigger test here in Adoles round Garcia. two. But his unit is in Astros worst nemesis. As well as they have all year long. Uh. I wouldn't be surprised if this defense, though, tried to get after him early with a little extra pressure. If he can handle that, he can have another big game, though. First play from scrimmage, Watson going to throw it. Open man, yeah, it's up. Tillman. He's going to pick it up. dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. Eric Kendricks gets him. Russian down he goes. Eric Kendricks coming in for that outside linebacker spot and he buries him for a loss of seven crowd getting in it a bit already here's an early third and ten here's watson this one downfield for tillman now he tries to force it in and it's intercepted marshawn latimore let's go six six in the regular season gets one here and certainly, look, you're on the road in the playoffs. That is a suboptimal start opening drive INT. And partner, sometimes I wonder. Look at Jake Myers. Do these teams talk about it to such an extent that maybe you almost talk yourself into the turnover when you're trying to avoid it? Yeah, maybe they get a little too worried about keeping the football and then you give it to the other team right off the bat. And look, we said it on the road. This is just a terrible, terrible start for them. It is, and now they've got to rely on their defense. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. And he's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's mm. territory. And the linebacker, Jeremiah Wusu Koromoa, on the tackle. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and eight. 
Quick throw into the hands of Pittman. Pittman. Pick up nine on the first. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. With these run pass options, oh. we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented oh, wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he Sorry. really should be first. Because I you get confused the sometimes because in the college football game, the big plays you have to hold on to it. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority yeah, because down you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Flushed out right, and he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in, and he's just got to throw this one away. Richardson hit it, he fumbles it. Oh, one of the linebackers no shot. got it, and they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49 That's so unfortunate. And I guess we're back to square one. A rocky, rocky start here. A turnover followed by a turnover. Not exactly what we expected going into the game, but I always wonder about the nerves and people starting, the emotions of the game. Sometimes it takes a little while for that to play out and for them to settle in. Let's hope that that's Pass broken up. Let's now. go. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early, but they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Second and ten. This thrown quickly out to Cooper. Thank He'll you, get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. The goal of the wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Grover Stewart gets him. Grover Stewart getting in there for the sack. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you Let's go. mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right Let's there go. how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. First down, Anthony Richardson. First down again, Julian Woods. Big first down, Michael Pittman. Over Stewart has a sack. First down throw, Watson. A short throw hauled in by Trimble. And he'll be out bounds across the 30 yard line. So eight yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Now right, they're gonna end it. It's gonna be three nothing coats at the end of one. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. The start of the second quarter, and it's the Browns in control of the football. Here's a second and two now from the 33. As they've got it as we resume action. To throw on second is Watson. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Now we'll play fake and it's Watson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And we get the ball. The Let's go. Got it. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does. And I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that oh, time frame. Of and any time he didn't get rid of the ball with got it. Let's go. Touchdown, Anthony Richardson. There we go. Ten nothing, Colts. Jose Altuve single. On first down, it's Watson. Sacked again, Eric Kendrick. 
Kenny Moore is second. Nice tackle. I love, I love. He's going to tackle. By the guys on the defensive side of the ball, and they got there and swarmed and finished off the play. Quitty Pay. Quitty Pay does it again. Two sacks. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, Can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. The Browns send out their punter now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. We'll call yeah. that a 43 yard punt, two on the return, and the Colts are set up well as they take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop huh. me from doing something, I'm going to continue. Ooh, first down, Jonathan Taylor. First down, Watson. From the yeah. side, he's got Tillman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first and 10, Watson. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. Fumble again. One of the DBs has it, and they have possession. Didn't even fucking matter. Watson on first down. And they're gonna get this beyond the forty before he's taken sure down. Not good. Now hang on here, because following that play, it looks like Amari Cooper is in some distress. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff though are gonna take a peek and we'll take a break. Now it's Watson. There's Tremble, the tight end. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first right, half of play. Time. Now Watson gets this over the middle to Tillman. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making them sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. And his kick is indeed good. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13-3. An awesome garbage. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away.
It happens. So it's on to halftime in this AFC divisional round matchup. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. This fourth and final matchup on this divisional round weekend. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. We'll begin up at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, where it was the Ravens who get the win at home. Lamar Jackson, excellent in the W as his guys get victory number 12 on the year. We saw a strong first half out of the mobile quarterback, Anthony Richardson. He was able to take it in himself for the game's only touchdown. And you wonder if this coaching staff will ask him to do a bit more the rest of the way. Final adjustments are underway in the locker rooms. Which of these two teams will survive and advance to next weekend's AFC Championship game? To find out, we go back to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Winner go home, that's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional round. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And the Colts going to take over Jeremy Pena singles, let's go. Third quarter. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work to run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But if they run it more effectively, they may get even bigger plays in the passing game. After the loss to start out here <coughs> <in> 11. <laughs> Now Richardson. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen. And it sets up a third down. Partner, I like the play call coming right after a tackle for a loss because this is an obvious passing situation. But instead, they fooled him a little bit with the screen. And they wound up getting back what they lost and then a little bit more. Richardson on third and short. And Richardson slides down after evading the defense, Safe. and he moves the chains. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first Let's down. Let's go, Anthony Richardson. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And he picks six up yards, six six as he gets this down to the 41. Damn. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football sustained runs taking their time and making it work huh. well, throw for is intercepted. Threw it straight at him the Browns are going to get it back here just past the 35 that is just what this defense was hoping for an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind and we've gotten to know this team a little bit haven't we couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys telling the quarterback Dude, don't worry we got that's to so unfortunate things off. you take it from there you do it straight so out the completion him. results there in nine yards that was so annoying. and that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down they go up the middle with Chubb. And Got him. Chubb going to push forward and pick up a Browns first down as he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Here's Watson. And now another turnover as this one's intercepted. Picked up by Kenny, Kenny Moore the second. And the Colts are going to get the football here at their own. Big play. Michael Pittman. Picked off. No, wait. Never mind. Sack. Whew. Oh, no. They start on Got the him. ground with Nick Chubb. And he is met in his tracks now behind the line of here. scrimmage. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. 
Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Broken up, Marshawn Lattimore. But it's incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Watson. And this Let's go. Is going to be incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So Let's go. Require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And take it right on the 30. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. First and 10, Taylor now. My bad, yes. For about six down inside the 40. Hey, it's not the most spectacular. First down, too many words, 12 yards. First down, Jonathan Taylor, pass for 15. Touchdown, Jonathan Taylor. Got the two pointer. Let's cook, boys. Let's cook. Because so far we have been cooking. To throw is Watson. Broken up. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. This they defense has been phenomenal. And a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced. Tommy Eckenberg with a nice contest. tackle. And from the 25, they worked this to the 29, a gain of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing on third down, Watson. Kitty pay. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Three sacks. Quitty pay. Able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. The Browns send out their punter now. Yes, is up to Standing one right just now. outside his own goal line. Returnable here from the 38. We'll call it a 42-yard punt. Three on the return. And the Colts will go on off it. All right, they wasted like maybe two minutes worth of offense. Watson now to throw. Broken up, Marshawn Lattimore. It has painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a whole time. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Throwing again is Watson. Broken up. It incomplete. And their struggles continue here. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try and throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. Everyone knows they're passing here. Back to throw, Watson. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Marshawn Lattimore does it again. Two picks this playoff run. This has been one mistake after another on the offensive side of the ball. That's now three interceptions to go along with two fumbles for him. And if you're going to turn the ball over five times in a game, your chances to win have to be about 100 to 1. And it's not looking good for him here. Had a bit of a lane there, took advantage of it. Give him seven there on the first down carry. Well, that's a pretty good drive starter right there. And I don't know, partner, if you're even thinking about sitting on the ball right now. They may just want to run their regular offense. In plus territory. And, and as an offensive coordinator, you don't want your team to go into a shell, do you? No, you really don't. Because as soon as you take huh. your foot off the gas, it's real hard to put it back on and mash it. Because once everyone's emotions come down, hard to start them up again. So I think you may want to keep them cranking high right here. 
Out to the right and complete to Pittman. And he is going to have a Colts first down. Let's go. He's able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way go. open and completing the connection. Julian O'Quara there to bring him down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. On second down, it's Richardson to throw it. Ah. Uh. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Taylor is going to take this one Let's in go. for a Colts touchdown. And the thing you have to love about Jonathan Taylor, he's a ship <coughs> speed guy most of the time when you hand him the football, but he's not coming off the field when you get down near the goal line because he's as tough and gritty as they come. And he finishes things up here by getting into the end zone. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And a touchback here as Walker will sit on this one. With the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a threat, if that, as they begin here with a first and ten on the wrong side of the scoreboard. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. They set up the screen Ooh. to show. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time worked well for a solid game. Now a toss left side into the hands That's of the go. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards there and a first down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Okay, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Here's Watson. Tries the right side and he finds Bell. The result Oof. only four yards there on the play, and it's second down. No shot. Secret just hit a home run. They'll look to throw again. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Watson looks to throw again. There's another catch by the running back, Nick Chubb. You're joking. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Well, they completed the pass, but lost yardage, so they'll decline the penalty. Perfect play for them, isn't it? Who needs a penalty when you try and throw the ball? You don't even get it downfield, and they go ahead and snuff out the play. They'll take that as a result. Let's go. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. The Browns on third down. They're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This is third and 11. That his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked Let's go. Juju Brents. And the Colts will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. 
facing this fourth quarter deficit felt like they had to throw the ball and on the other side they were ready no doubt Six about it they're situational great. football they look at the clock they know the lead that they have and all they're doing is playing pass on every down playing the pass picking it off and now big time in the driver's seat on first down Richardson and he's taken down this will be a brown sack On second down, it's Taylor. 93 yards of rushing for him now Let's at this go. point. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Now a third and six. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And some room to run now. And he is going to the Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's a great run, and this is where you've got a running back who feels like he needs to take over this football game. You're in the second half, you've got the lead, you're looking at moving on to the conference championship, and he's got to be saying, just keep giving me the ball, and I'll get us home. Clock counting down toward 40 seconds as they take the knee. And they will take a knee here. Let's go. So the Colts will play again next weekend. Thanks for watching, everybody, and so long. 31 to 3. I know we're going against the Ravens here. That's gonna be it. So like and subscribe guys. Do all those good things. Catch you on the next one. Peace.